middle finger free stroke. The middle finger free stroke works just like the index finger free stroke for the most part. We're going to go ahead and set your hand up in fixed position. Thumb is on string three. Middle finger is on string one. The I finger for right now, we're not going to rest on string two. You're going to let it just slightly curl in, flex in a little bit, but it's not flexed in tight. It's just slightly curled in so it gets out of the way so it's not going to, you don't have to worry about it hitting its string. Okay, so with the middle finger, just like with the index finger, you're going to flex from the big knuckle joint, pushing it through the string diagonally at about a 45 degree angle. Especially with the middle finger, you're going to want to let the ring finger and the pinky relax and move right along with it. That will help keep your hand um, from getting tense. And that's going to sound like this. with the index finger you want to make sure that your hand is right in line with your forearm that you're pushing through the string at about a 45 degree angle so you get your best tone now with both the thumb the index the middle finger any finger you're hitting with it's a good idea at this stage to touch the string and prepare it on the string before you actually push it through so you, you kind of find that sweet spot on the tip of the finger where, it, where it's nice and comfortable, where you get a nice sound, and try to aim for that spot each time. Which means you're stopping the string from ringing briefly as it finds a spot, but that's okay. We'll work that out later. Because what you're doing here, you're training that finger to go to that precise spot each time. And especially if you're starting to grow your nails out to where you're using a combination of nails and flesh, this is really important to, to get a consistent tone. As opposed to, you know, another way to do it would just be like a glancing blow at the, at the string. It's hard to be as accurate and get as consistent a tone with that. So at this stage, I would say prepare the finger on the string, find that spot, and then play. Okay, good luck.